Hey guys! So, <laughs> I, I know that uh, around a week ago I said, are we gonna do this live stream tomorrow? But I just had this feeling that there was so much information, so much fear, so many perceptions and perspectives that I felt to interfere in this moment wouldn't really bring more value to anything. So, I kept my distance. <laughs> Um, hi Lena, is the, is, the, is the sound functioning and everything? Mm -hmm. I never really get this whole live stream thing, I always ask something and then, then people answer very much later, so there must be some kind of a... Ah, yes, thumbs up, beautiful, awesome, hi guys. So, I don't even know exactly what this live stream what my message is yet as i just woke up and i just had this feeling okay for what it's worth now's the time um, i look around and i see so much going on on so many levels and from so many perceptions so many aspects there's so much love fear joy <laughs> restrictions like everything combined it at once we got the birds we have the ambulance so there is this moment of complete duality in the black and white in a form and here we are a lockdown in the middle as the center of it all um what I see a lot is that everybody is slowly taking their positions in how they perceive the whole thing. And a thing that I feel that's really important to remember is that, that we are one union, that we stick together within that. That we don't judge the situation for being good or bad, but, but understand that it is it all. Because for some people, it means a lot of change for other people like me who's pretty into words anyways what? i feel more social than ever right <laughs> so what we what i feel we need to do in this time is to tap into the feeling of compassion and understanding um on a higher level so much is going on oh my god i haven't been sleeping for a uh, for a full week all my dreams are full of nightmares and and like these duality chasing each other and i see these portals open and and it has just been like one crazy ride so for everyone out there um, they are working on their own self-love self-healing looking inside in this moment i just want to tell you guys that don't lose faith or don't think that um don't think that you're not doing it good because you are <laughs> it's just there is so many aspects and so many vibrations floating around in this perceptive moment that it is um, impossible to not tap in to fragmentations of it all so it's it's meant to be we are meant to face these fragmentations in this moment and stay the center of the storm but also to integrate each particle as a part of ourself what i really have been looking into is this whole good and bad thing which is the game that we are playing on earth right the good guys the bad guys somebody is the light somebody is the dark but internally the world wouldn't function if we didn't have both sides now these uh, people who are all in for non-duality is gonna kill me about this one <laughs> but the thing that make the world go around is that we have the duality the thing that that, that creates the unbalance is that the dark and the control and these things has been high for a long time and what we do now is we we come to the moment of awareness where we are able to create to recreate balance that means by integrating the light, integrating the trust and, and build this world that we wish to see as one unit, point zero, we can recreate balance. The reason I bring this up is that many people of the light tend to lose faith 
when they see that things doesn't go uh, exactly as they wish in in the form of light and love and and if the goal is to create completely peace on earth then you need to understand that that is not what we're gonna reach fully in this lifetime but what we are gonna reach and what our aim is what our goal is is to recreate balance it is to recreate the duality where you have the choice what part you want to be part of so <laughs> i say this because when when we as light workers are in all this faith and love and trust and keep heading the work the head to the wall like a billion times then faith start going down and, and the trust start going down and the self-doubt start racing and then we lose so many light workers in this perception of feeling uh, not enough not able to do the job feeling rootless hopeless and and this whole lower self-esteem thing are taking over so by re-realizing <laughs> that good and bad is a part of the friction that makes the planet go around and our job is to present light but it is okay to hit the head against the wall over and over because it's part of the process it doesn't mean that it doesn't get easier because it's due but it just means don't lose hope do not lose faith in the path that you have chosen so once somebody told me this thing about aim for the moon and you will reach the stars and i kind of sort of that's what i kind of get this one so if we are aiming for the moon and reaching the stars then it means that we are aiming for uh, fully peace on earth and what we then will reach will be the balance in order of creating that balance outside of yourself we need to recreate that balance within ourselves. That means that, oh, I have something in my left eye. Is it gone? Can you see it? No, of course you cannot. <laughs> left eye, okay, emotionally. I'm sorry. So in order of me, into, in order of creating balance in the world surrounding us, we need to recreate balance within ourselves. That means that, <laughs> We need to be in a state of including. So where we before try to clean ourselves from ego and all these kind of things, then what we need to do now is to accept ourselves in this very moment with everything that we are, everything that we are not, everything that we feel uh, and are in a vibrationally matched to. If we are able to fully accept that in this moment, we are able to accept that when in the others around him, surrounding us. That means that we create a form of unity in acceptance and um, respect one and another. We talk a lot about this thing about not judging others. While, <laughs> while the backside of the coin for many is that then we are judging ourselves. Um, I did this thing a few days ago because so I heard it in my foot I walked into a door and it's it was a sign of you need to be more in tune with your small feelings I'm like what do you mean small feelings because <sighs> I have a million of them you know <laughs> like where do you start so I uh, I looked into it and I thought I knew what it was about I guess um, I guess I first really truly get the understanding now so if you would take as an hour or 10 minutes during your day to day and just listen to the voices in your head, all of them. I normally have like four voices at the same time plus background music and the one that's saying, the sun is shining, you should move, you should move. So we are approximately around six voices, right? So if you would listen to these voices repeating what they have learned from your own life, your own vibration what you're surrounded by what are they saying and how many of these voices are confirming and reaffirming you positivity in life how many of these voices are bringing you to a state of bliss within and trust 
and faith. We are so influenced by <laughs> what we read, what we hear, what we are exchanging, exchanging with the people surrounding us. So what our mind does is it, it's repeating the patterns of what it just learned. It doesn't really matter if it's true or not, because it's just repeating words over and over patterns. So if we would take a moment to become self-conscious and observe these voices going through our brain waves, we could look into the aspects of which one of these voices actually do belong to us and actually do serve us in where we want to go from here. I realized and for a long time, well, I said this before, but for a long time, a lot of these voices was really, are not so kind. I'm not even sure all of them are mine. Schizophrenia. So, <laughs> um, so I would wake up with voices screaming in my head and I'm like, what? What did I do wrong? I didn't even go out of bed yet, you know? And, but it's always linked to a vibration, a emotion. It's always linked to a certain feeling. And when in that aspect, that feeling, if you look underneath the voice, but into the emotionally imprint, you can come to the understanding of where its imprint comes from within yourself. So I guess that I would like you guys, if you want to, it's full free. Well, I will put you on a homework excitement today. Besides, you really need to move your body. Inside, outside, the very important. So, hey, Helen. So the assignment today is to observe these voices, which is within your head. Look to the underlying emotionally imprint and write down whatever you see, whatever you feel, where it comes from within your past, within your own system. And if you would love to, Feel free to share it here in the comments below and we can look into it together. I really have this feeling of this whole lockdown thing that it is, it is an invitation to look inside. It is an invitation not to stay in fear or feel controlled by the system because, come on, let's be real. One system or another system, there will always be sort of kind of a system. If they don't make it, you make it yourself. So if we keep blaming the system of controlling us, we're going to have a really boring life. So let's skip that part and look into, okay, how do we get the best out of this situation? Let's look inside. Let's look inside. Remember to move our bodies so it becomes a whole. And let's do this part of the journey together. So good morning, Con. Um... So, yeah, if you guys are with me, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to look into these voices in my head. I'm going to take one of them. I'm going to look into the emotional imprint where it comes from. And I will share it with you guys. So, if you are willing to share a part of you, I will... Well, willing or not. If you are willing or not, I will share a part of me. And we can do this part of the journey as a collective. So let me know how it feels for you guys and if, uh, if you are all in. I will uh, bless thee, go out and move this body and um, yeah, just be grateful for this moment. Thank you guys for tapping in. I love you and let me know. Diddy.